Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's speed build. And so today we are building, uh, I've called it European family home on, on my gallery and uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to call it in this video. Uh, but it's kind of like Scandinavian, sort of very modern inspired. It's got, um, it's got the dark black wooden panelling on one section of the house and then I believe it's got either some stone and then some sort of plaster in a different colour and I think it's really a, a nice spacious family home there's a huge kitchen and dining area downstairs and a cosy little tv room and then there's a teenager's bedroom downstairs which I've done sort of black and white so with a few tweaks it could be for either a boy or a girl sim and then there's a huge kids bedroom upstairs which I have furnished sort of half for a male child half for a female child and you could split it into two rooms if you wanted to like it is huge but I've left it uh, as a room for two kids because I thought the the space in the middle to play was a good use of the space and then there's a master bedroom and the parents have got their own bathroom and there's a family bathroom upstairs for everyone else so I think this is a really nice house it's already on the gallery under under my username on the gallery which is hashtag live written not with the hashtag symbol live was already taken <laughs> so yeah uh, we're gonna do a tag while this plays because I feel like I'm much more, I'm much in, but da da da, I'm losing the ability to speak. I enjoy doing voiceover for my videos, so rather than finding some music that I'm not really into, we're going to do the TMI tag while this build plays. So if you want to listen to that, by all means, leave the audio on, and if you don't, well, put on your iTunes while the, and mute my voice. But here we go, here's the TMI tag. So what are you wearing? I'm actually in my pajamas because I just went out for dinner with my grandparents and I ate too much food and so I was I changed into my pajamas when I got back because I'm very full because I had three courses because it was great. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Have you ever had a terrible breakup? Probably the worst breakup I had when I was like 17 and I was dating a guy from camp and we'd been dating for like three months afterwards and then he just like didn't call me for like the entire weekend and then he like texted me on the, oh, it wasn't even text, it was back in the days of Blackberry Messenger which was a long time ago when everyone had Blackberries but yeah. <laughs> so he bbm'd me and was like we need to talk and I was just like oh my god and I basically had like my the most intense panic attack that I've ever had in my whole life and yeah that was a bad breakup and what was even worse is that we still had one more summer of camp so I had to like pretend that I, I wasn't bothered at all when in, in reality I was so bothered by this entire thing because I was like a 16 year old girl and 16 year old girls are bothered about everything but don't worry if you are a 16 year old girl things do get better and you will even out <laughs> as you get older. How tall are you? I've answered this in the tag I was doing for my sim self full makeover but I am five foot four and a half. How much do you weigh? I'll be honest I weigh 10 stone which is a lot for my height but I genuinely have very big bones like my wrists are the same size as my six foot tall fiance's wrists I don't have any fat on them they're just like I have huge bones do you have any tattoos yes I do I have a tattoo on my lower back call it a tramp stamp if you will but it is the outline of Catalina Island which is off the coast of California and is a very special place to me uh, any piercings yes I have four piercings, two in each ear. I also have a nose ring, which my sim self does not have because I need to find a CC nose ring that looks like the one that I wear. OTP. Uh, this is a hard question, OTP, because it's like, mm, I don't know, maybe Bella and Edward from Twilight, but then I was always team Jacob, but in retrospect, I agree that she should have gone with Edward, but 
who knows? Let's just say, <laughs> let's just say that. Favorite show? Now, are we talking TV show or theatrical show? Because if it's theatrical show, then it's Les Miserables, because I just love, I love it. I've seen it twice in London, and I cried both times like a baby, because it's so good. Um, and if it's TV show, um, I don't watch a lot of TV shows per se. I watch a lot of documentaries. <laughs> I'm so sad. I used to be really into Glee, but not anymore. I like Community, but that's obviously not on anymore. Yeah, I don't really watch TV shows. Probably maybe just Game of Thrones. Like that's really the only current TV show that I actually watch and or I'm invested in. Favorite bands. Okay, so my favorite band in the entire world is Girls Generation. They're a K-pop band, and I've been following them since about 2008 when they came up in my recommended videos on YouTube and oh, I just love them. I just want to be them because they're all so beautiful and tall uh, than me. Well, actually, no, not all of them are taller than me, but they just look tall. Oh, I love them. I really used to love My Chemical Romance as well and uh, Panic at the Disco and Fallout Boy because I was a huge emo when I was younger. <laughs> Although maybe Fallout Boy and Panic at the Disco aren't like stereotypically emo, but just love them all. I actually saw My Chemical Romance for my 17th birthday and it was the best. Like they were so good live and it was like their last tour they ever did for the breakup so I was really happy I got to see them. Something you miss. I miss my fiance because he's on the other side of the world and uh, you might know this if you've looked at the videos on my channel but I am a vegan and I really miss chocolate with caramel in it because I can't find a good vegan version of that. So if you know of any, please tell me and I will try and track them down. But like, oh, I just miss, I miss chocolate with caramel. Like, I just used to, that was my favourite kind and now I can't eat it and it's really sad. But it's worth it. What's your favourite song? I go through like periods where I just listen to like one song on repeat for like weeks. So the most recent one of those was a song called In Dreams by uh, Lena Park. It's like from 2002 and it's a Korean song and it's really beautiful. She's like the Korean version of like Celine Dion. So good. Um, before that, though, I was listening to the piano version of This Is Gospel by Panic at the Disco for like three weeks. It was the only song I was listening to. So that was my favorite song. I'm um, just looking on my iTunes and my most played song is I by Taeyeon and Taeyeon is one of the members of Girls' Generation and it's her, it was her first solo single and it's really beautiful. I recommend you go and give it a listen because I guarantee you, you will love it. Okay, the next question is how old are you and I am 23 and Zodiac sign, I'm an Aquarius. I don't really believe in all that stuff because, okay, my, my issue with that is first, Aquarius got aqua in its name, which is like from, derived from like the Latin for water, right? So why is Aquarius an air sign? Uh, it's just always really bothered me. <laughs> it probably doesn't bother anyone else, but it really bothers me. And I don't really believe too much in like star signs like I'm quite skeptical quality you look for in a partner I like people who can be serious but also can take a joke favorite quote oh that's hard because I have like okay I'm quite sad and I have like a little book that I write down like quotes that I really like in so I'm just gonna grab that really quick because it's in an, it's in my handbag next to me I think, I think my favourite quote at the moment is, hmm, where is it? Let me find it. Da, 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 da. Oh, you know when you like, oh, there's so many quotes that I really love, but I think I will go with... At what point do we finally lay our bodies down to say that this blatant disregard for biology and wild lives is no longer acceptable? 
that is from Terry Tempest Williams in her essay, The Open Space of Democracy, which is just a really beautiful, moving text. I'm actually writing about it right now for my dissertation. So, yeah, there's that. I'm sorry that took so long, but it was really important that I tell you my favourite quote. Uh, <laughs> okay, favourite actor, Colin Firth or Sharat Khan. Either of them, they're both beautiful. Favourite colour? Pink. I love pink. Uh, loud music or soft music? It really depends. A lot of my favourite songs are very soft. But I appreciate sometimes you just need to play music really loud, like dance around. Where do you go when you're sad? When I'm sad, I don't go anywhere. I just stay in bed. That's kind of my... Uh, I like hiding from the world in my bed. That's where I feel safe. <laughs> uh, the next question is, how long does it take you to shower? Probably about 15 minutes. I've got quite long hair and I like to, um, I like to leave the conditioner in it so that it gets nice and detangled and conditioned and moisturized. So it probably takes me about 15 minutes. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Oh my god, literally like an hour and a half. Not because I'm like doing makeup or anything, because I don't wear makeup most days, or I just, I'm so slow in the morning, like it takes me like an hour just to wake up, and then like I have, I have to have breakfast before I do anything, so I have to like wake myself up and then go downstairs and have my breakfast, and then I can get dressed, so by the time I've done that it's usually like within an hour and a half, so I'm just, I'm no, no fun in the mornings, I do not function. <laughs> have you ever been in a physical fight? I was in a fight at school. Well, it was more like I was cornered by this bully. I was bullied quite a lot, but mostly just words. But this one time I was cornered by this girl. I won't say her name just to, for the sake of anon anonymity. Anonymity. Uh, anonymity. Oh my God, I can't talk. Um, but basically she was about to punch me and she surrounded me with like loads of other people so I just like slapped her across the face and then uh, a teacher came around the corner and basically what happened was I didn't get into trouble at all and she got into trouble even though I had thrown the first and only slap. Uh, the reason I joined YouTube. Honestly this uh, I've had this account for many years um as one of my backup accounts because I couldn't remember the password for my original one. Uh, but I decided to start making Sims videos because I just really enjoy building on The Sims and I wanted to share my creations with people and get to know other people that play The Sims because only one of my friends plays The Sims and she's more into The Sims 3, which I do not have anymore. So just want to talk to other people about The Sims. And hopefully they and other people enjoy watching. Fears. Okay, so I'm really afraid of the dark. Like, seriously, cripplingly afraid of the dark. And also dead things. Like, I went to visit a friend of mine a few weeks ago in the countryside. And we went on a walk and we saw so many dead animals. Like, we went through this field and, like, clearly some kind of bird of prey had been killing all of the like pheasants in this field but like I literally was so terrified like I couldn't walk I had to like be led around the field like around the bits where there were dead animals so I just I can't I can't deal with dead things and I can't deal with the dark which I think is uh, the dark is a pretty common fear but I'm not so sure about like dead things but like literally I just can't I can't approach a dead thing like I freak out <laughs> basically to to say to summarize I just freak out and it's it's no fun uh the last thing that made you cry I don't actually know so it was probably just a film or something last time you said you loved someone uh probably a couple of hours ago meaning behind my youtube name uh it's my name my name is Liv and I believe that you should live your truth. <laughs> no, it's literally just because my name is Liv. <laughs> okay, the next question is the last book you read. Um, the last book I read was really boringly. I haven't read anything for fun for a good few months because of my degree. Uh, 
and I like I like to just like get fully involved and read like a hundred pages a day of what whatever I'm reading so I haven't really read anything for fun because I've been focused on my work so the last book that I read for university was My First Summer in the Sierra by John Muir which is a piece of nature writing and uh, the book I'm currently reading uh, ooh, this is really sad as well but I'm currently reading Revolution and Counter Revolution by Herbert Marcuse which if you don't know who that is, then good. I hope you never have to. Use. It's like theoretical stuff, and it's it's very mind numbingly. Oh, it's just very dense. Okay, guys. Well, we're pretty much at the end of the video now, so I just want to thank you so much for watching, and please like this video, leave a comment. And subscribe to my channel if you like builds because there will be plenty more where this came from. Bye!